Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Splatoon 2. Going through some more of the world in... Uh, no, hang on, that's not the sector name. It's not gonna show me the sector name. Suction Cup Lookout. There we go. So let's go into the level 8 spinning campground. Ink me out, ink me in. I could really use some more data on this weapon. Can you use it for a bit? We have to use the hero shot for this mission. Let's go! I like this music. I like that you can also hear the music from outside. Ink fellas! Unfurl them when you hit when they get hit by ink. Stay sharp though, they'll roll back up on you after a bit. I like the music that uh that uh, how it plays when we're next to the kettle that is connected to it. But these ink fellas. I think that's what they were called. Will unfurl when hit by ink and roll back at a random point in time or if they're hit by enemy ink. So they're quite useful, but they'll also just go away if we're not careful. Oh, and just so you know, enemy ink will cause ink fellas to roll back up. Yep. Which is why these sprinklers here are really annoying, so. But I need to check this other thing over here quickly as well. Get some more eggs. Okay. And just try and get rid of those. Like that. And let's keep going forward. Don't get cooked. Our catchphrase was better. Hmm. Yes. Because the... The Squid Sisters had stay fresh instead of don't get cooked. Uh, is there anything else here that I'm not seeing? Because I need to make sure I'm not missing any of the secrets. Ah! Okay. I think over here there might be a secret, possibly. Possibly. Let's get vertical, because they can also got walls. And they can also take out enemies that are in front of them. There's the Sardinium. See it? Sardinium? I don't know. Let's go up. Take you out. Keep your head in the game. I will. Thank you for reminding me, I guess. But now we have to deal with this. We have to keep pushing. It's like a gi giant ink slide. Oh boy. It's fine. Just need to take, keep pushing this back. After we've taken out the things. I should steal those. These and open an amusement park. <laughs> Can. Go ahead. Do it. It'd be really cool. That's a lot of ink furlers. Yes it is. So we need to keep on top of things because these... Uh, what are they called? Octo Troopers will roll them back up. There's the... What's it called? Please. I'm just gonna jump off there. I didn't see the platform. There's the sea scroll. Back there. You make this look easy. I don't know about that. I'm having a little bit of trouble. Pretty sure I just saw the zapfish. You can't shoot these shielded slobs from the front. Okay. So they've got shields. That's okay. We can go around this way. I don't know how I managed to go the wrong way on these two platforms here, but anyway. Want to go this way, because if we can, we can unroll that right into the enemies. That's how you do it. Not much f farther. Okay. Anything else here? Don't think so, but there is this uh, cannon ahead, so... It's a cannon! Get on! Hold ZL and press ZR. So we have this again where we get to just blow up everything. Basically, we need to shoot all the things we possibly can. And we can even hit the... What's it called at the very end? Uh, the... The Zapfish. Going up... And smooch. Also, like the, the Octoling... Or the Octo version style... Of the Splatoon logo. In this as well. Inkopolis holds its famous card game tournament once a year. This year, first time en entrant, Jelfonzo appeared on the scene and promptly set about de uh, decimating the competition. He walked away with a first place trophy. Very cool. Let's go to the next level, which is the last one, level 9. And this is where we get to start doing some other cool stuff. 
Octoling Strike. Riot in the Reef. Also, there are no UFO missions in this game, so... Which is probably f for the best. It was cool, but it was somewhat repetitive. But anyway, Octolings! Wait, that's a mini zapfish. Apparently, eight mini zapfish combined here have the power output of an output of a not one normal one. Seek out those pillars of light and recover the mini zapfish. So we have a multiplayer level reskinned to be a uh, single player level, which is pr pretty cool. I like that about the first game as well. So I'm glad that we get to do this. And obviously, the octolings here are basically computer versions of other players, in a way, or like us, computer. Other, uh, other enemies that work exactly like us, basically. Okay, we need to take you out, if possible. Where'd you go? Just disappeared, apparently. I thought they were there. Never mind. There's an enemy hiding in the ink. Look sharp. But if we can actually blow up the, the zapfish cage right next to one, they should get taken out pretty quick as well. There's number two. There's also some fish eggs to get here. So I'm going to try and get some of those. Just need to blow that up. Any bomb can just blow it up instantly, which is helpful. Ah, I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble. Don't kill me. Nope, I'm dead. Okay, back to the checkpoint, which is the beginning. So we can't die that many times in this level. So we need to be careful. Let's go this way, though. Possibly. If you, if, I really recommend having more fish eggs by this point to have the other bombs. Because they are quite useful. Particularly the curlers, the curling bombs. Please take you out, thank you. Gonna take a second to recover. I think though, if I go up this way, possibly, there's some fish eggs, but there's also this splash wall there. If I go up here, there is a hidden box with the uh, sea scroll in it. Also, hello. Please. Okay, fine. I only won that because I had my extra hit. Got a bomb launcher, so we can throw lots of bombs all at once for a little bit as our special. Not incredibly helpful, but it is something, so another hidden box. This that ink is deeper than it looks. Oh hello, what are you doing behind me? That's just rude. Get you. Okay. Grab that. Check it every Gotta check every last corner if you're gonna find all eight. I mean, they also light up with light above them, like beacons. But anyway, please let me get you. Please, thank you. Blow it up again. Two more to go. Oh, hello, box. Just randomly. Where did you go? Gonna take a second to recover some ink. I can hear something happening up there, I think. Hello. Get rid of you. Try and get you up there. But I'm going to probably have to go around. I'm usually a lot faster at this, but I'm not... I don't have the normal stuff that I would have at this point. Please, let me get you. I'm hitting the box, not you. It's always a good sign. Missing everything as well. Hang on. Just do a whole bunch of this. There we go. Gonna break that open. Still missing the sardinium, and we have one more thing left. So I'm probably looking in the wrong spot. In fact, it's probably just on the bridge. Maybe? No? Well, there's some balloons. Just randomly. They have the uh, uh, splash walls here to, like, to deter you from going across the bridge. But that's not where I need to be to find the secret. Actually, the secret's probably at the very end, possibly. I heard that. Where are you? Nowhere, apparently. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this, though. Just like that. There's a box there. It's just armor. Where is the secret? There's a few more things over this way, I guess. 
I can check. This ink, this area looks a lot more inked than it was before. And that is concerning. Actually, it's probably up here because there's the opposite side of where we were before. And you wouldn't think to check here because it's not the opposite base. But you need to check everywhere, so. You need to also get rid of you. Please, thank you. Okay, and this is not the thing I need. Where, where, where? Where is it? I should remember this. I played through this whole game. Not that long ago, either. There's another box up there. But there's also the tougher Inkling up here. Or Octoling, that one. Oh, hello. Why are there so many? Why, why are there multiple? It's fine. Please let me get you. Okay. So that's all of them, I think. But I'm still missing... this one other thing, and I'm sure... Oh, you respawn, I think. Also, we can't get too close to the enemy's base because it just pushes us away. Which we'd only really ever experience in this. Okay, there it is, just under the ink. Because of course it would be. There we go. That took a while. <laughs> Each level in the game takes around three minutes when you, when you have all of the upgrades and stuff, so... And when you don't need to look for collectibles, but anyway. Boss kettle's open. But first... Net the freshest gear around. Get the abilities you've always dreamed about. Orders will be fulfilled by that weird kid with the spiky hair. Interested? Send inquires to Annie. Which I think this is referring to the Nintendo Switch Online app, which has some extra deals for you. But anyway, let's go to the boss. Boss kettle's open. Get ready. The Showdown, Fear, the Octo Samurai. We have to use the hero roller for this. But also just take in this environment. The, the bosses are, they usually have a really cool environment around the bosses. Splats with honor, Octo Samurai. Str smoke this clown, Agent 4, for the honor of your family, or something. Okay, well I need to be careful because he can splash me a lot, but I can splash him a lot as well. If, unless I run out of ink like that. And he can also do some really powerful attacks as well, so we need to be really careful. Okay, that's just ridiculous. It really is, but anyway, let's get that. Okay. And now let's hit his weak point. There we go. Oh, oh a cop. The sucker's not messing around. Oh, please. Ow. Oh, spin attack. His eyes lit up before he did that. Okay. I don't really remember a lot of these patterns. I just remember going straight for the attacks and not worrying about anything else. Oh, boy. He starts. Looks like that's another spin attack. But he has a few other moves as well. Oh, please. Just don't run out of ink. I really wish I had more ink. Here comes that jump attack again. Oh, hello. I'll splash you. Bring the pain. There we go. That's two hits though. Still one more to go.
Okay. Here we go. Grady looks like he's playing something nasty. And he really is. He's doing like a splash attack in front of him, which is really, really rude. Let me just blow him up a bit. It's not doing a ton from what I can tell, but it's doing something at least. Dodge out of the way. He might do a spin attack, so I need to be careful. Like that. Just gonna blow him up some more, maybe. Oh, he's gonna do a jump attack. Or something. No, he's doing the roll up power. And he's doing it again, because the th third round match thing, I don't know. Please. Please. There we go. Now let's take out the weak point. End it. There we go. And there we go. Bunch of eggs. And the zapfish. Moi. 236 isn't bad, but it probably could be a lot better than that. Especially with some of the other weapons. Phew, that was kind of insane. Great work, Agent 4. Maybe it's just me, but the Octarian bases feel like they've been... More, they've been given a feminine touch. Maybe they got a new decorator. Bruh. Lee. No. Huh? This radio is on the fritz. I swear, I just changed the batteries in this thing. Actually, there is a likely radio interference in Octo Canyon. All the junk around there is probably giving off electrostatic. See, a lot of customer products use a frequency called the C-Pod band. Microwave ovens are prime culprits. In fact, my micro... You're breaking up, Sheldon. Ksh, you're, I'm, go, I'm going through a tunnel in the in an elevator. Ksh. <clears throat> going through a tunnel in an elevator. <sighs> Amazing. Okay. Well, I guess the great zapfish wasn't here. Maybe in the next area. Maybe. Let's go to Beaker's Depot. I like the way that this area looks like a construction place, basically. But anyway, let's go find some levels, because that's what I always do. So much splash power. Also, I see that over there, so let's try and get that. It might be good to change weapon to the... I can't remember what this is called. I should remember the things. I've... I've had... I've heard the names of these things so much. And I've... I've said them so much. I've, like, it... The, the words are in my brain, but I can't find them. I wish my memory was better. Anyway. Let's get this. Number 13. I think we want to go up here. Because up here is the Sardinium. Okay. So that's everything over here. Let's go further forward. We can also go over this way. Just need to make sure we don't fall through the second grate. Because that would not be great. I'm gonna switch again. I wish I could switch faster than that. I mean, I can still do it pretty fast, but still. Okay, there's the number of whatever it was. I think 11. Might be wrong about that. No, it was 11. Okay. You can also go on this ink rail over this way. There's a lot of different areas over here. Let's do all this. Like that. Okay. I think I want to go over this way. Because I think over this way is a couple of boxes. Nothing? I thought there was something. Unless it's in this box that I didn't think was anything. Always possible. Nope, okay. I'm just crazy. 
It would be really funny if it was random each time which box had something in it. And you had to figure out which one it was. I'm glad it's not like that, though. I don't think this has anything in it, does it? Unless it has, like, a... Yeah, an ink rail on it. And that goes over that way. But I want to go over this way first. Quickly and carefully. Because there's a... A sprinkler there. Another one over here. Number 15. But I want to use these rails... To get to this one. Number 12. Okay. There's so many areas to look at. This feels a lot more open than the previous worlds. Which is pretty good. Well, that's going a long way, apparently. It's looping a little bit. Okay, there's a lot of sprinkles here. I'm going to try and take some of them out. Let's go down this way. I wish that the sprinklers were always taken out after you took them out in the overworld. But anyway, number 10. I think we're still missing another one somewhere. I, th I felt like I knew where it was, but apparently not. It's probably just over this way. So let's go over this way. We can hit that. There, or actually hit the things on top of it. This is the... the boss kettle. And down here... is nothing else, I don't think. So I must have missed it somewhere else. But this can take us back, at least. And we know where the boss kettle is now. But where... where is the last of things? I'm also missing... oh, it's over there. <laughs> it's just like, right there. Hang on. Where is that? Is it that one? I think it's that one. Because over here we can just go across there. And up here is another thing going back, but also the last thing. But I think I'm also missing the sea scroll somewhere. Oh no, that's the this thing, isn't it? Okay, we need to go this way, hit both of these targets. Keep going this way. Try and optimize time. I think we need to jump off of here so we can go a little bit faster. To be able to hit this. Like that. How is this still more? Hit that one. Hit that one. And then up here. We hit that one, and there we go. That's why I thought there was something in that corner. Okay. That was quite a lot to keep up with. <laughs> I managed to keep it up over the in one go though, so that's pretty good. But now let's go to the first level. That being level 10. Octoseeker's Shakedown, a Midnight Stroll. Now, I really like the atmosphere of this level. Like, it's all dark. But it's got, like, glowing bits, and you can, like, you can obviously still see. You need to use the Hero Slosher, a new weapon, which is a slosher. Just need to keep sloshing with it. <laughs> It's a- it's just a bucket. Fling ink with ZR. You can slosh over walls. And everywhere else. Once you get the aim down, you'll get- You'll be sloshing your enemies in no time. It's quite a strong weapon as well, I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong about that. But we can just ink everything. Talk about mood lighting, this place is creep-tastic. Man, I love- I love the slosh. <laughs> it's- It's a very interesting weapon. Octoseekers spotted, don't let them see you. We'll find you, Agent 4. So if this thing sees us, which has got our thing inside of it piloting it, it will come down and basically stamp us with ink. So we need to be very quick and not get seen. Or if we do get seen, get out of the way quickly. We can also use it as a platform, so... Shouldn't be able to spot you up there. Let me just check what this is. That's just armor. This is some fish eggs. I do want that, but I missed, so I'm probably just going to abandon that at this point. Might as well. Just keep going. Is there anything off the edge? No, there isn't. Let's go. I can get fish eggs in other places, so we'll have plenty by the end. Oh man, another Octoseeker. 
Oh, there is, isn't there? I need to be careful, don't I? And they also drip ink when they're floating above the ground, so... It's not exactly perfect for us to get around. Okay, I think we need to go down here. A locked vault. In the correct direction, that is. We need to get that. But for now, let's get this sunken sea scroll. Is that what that- I still don't know if that's what that's called or not. Anyway. Kind of back a little bit. Also, this song, I remember from Splatoon 1, and I remember enjoying it. It's a- it's an interesting, unique song. But I- I like it, so. It's one that sticks out to me for some reason. Okay. It's kind of small because it was splashed by the enemy. Or the... Seeker thing. Need to be careful. Well, I'm gonna get review. And let's go in here because this is where the key is. And there are some boxes on top of this main platform here, but we need to be on top of the, uh... The Seeker thing. I don't know what- I, I, the, the, Hang on, can I check the level name? No, I can't. But the, the thing- if we get on top of the thing, we can get on top of this area and get that box, but I don't think that's anything important, so let's keep moving. I think it's just fish eggs, so... I remember specifically it being not what I need. Watch your step! Oh, I will. Have to be careful though, because these troopers will take shots at everything. Balloon fish floating in the sky. Okay. Oh, careful, 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 careful. I don't like them making the platform smaller. I mean, it makes sense, but also, I don't like when I fall off. Basically. You think you can roast this shielded slob without breaking a sweat? Oh yeah, I can. The the slosher is good for going above shields. Okay. Man, those Octo Seekers just don't quit. Okay, be careful. Very careful. I think the Sardinium is close at hand. Also, I think this thing can crush this thing. So I'm getting out of here. Basically, standing there was not going to live. I would not live for very long there, so. But let me go up here now, and we can jump. Where are you going? It's fine. It's fine. We have time. We can jump on top of this thing. We just need to wait for it to go into the right direction. Which is over this way. We can keep going. Come on, there we go. I love being able to go to over the shields like that. Okay, we need to be careful over here because this is a circle and it's a small circle, so we don't want to get left behind. Or at least don't want to have it catch up to us when it's going around. Okay, just some fish eggs. More fish eggs, I'm going to grab it and go. Again, I think there's something on top of that platform there, but I don't need to check it because I don't think that's what I need. If I'm wrong, then I'll come back, so... Okay, now this bit is going interesting because we have all of these sponges. But there's an Octoseeker guarding the Zapfish, which is going to just try and destroy these platforms, so we need to be extra careful. Okay, ready. Go. Lure it in. Get past it, because over here is the Sardinium. Take that, take that, take that. You can't get me now. Goodbye. And there we go. That's the level. Moi. Very nice. Let me check your weapon log. Yep, data's coming through. Oh man, this is really good stuff. More you get, yeah, yep, we have a new weapon. It's just a loner. Good luck, Agent 4. So we can now use the Hero Slosher. Add that to our weapon collection. There's a new fish in the sea. Come check out the Shoal, the most entertaining destination in uh, in in Incopolis is now open. Very nice. Nice work, Agent 4. Just five more zapfish and the boss kettle will pop open. Indeed. So let's go to the next level. Oh boy, this level. Oh boy, here we go. The floating garden. 
Chasing Heartache. We get to use the Hero Duelist for this. Good weapon choice. I probably would have gone with the, uh, what's it called though? The, uh, what's it called? The one that shoots far. A tentahook, after it. A tentahook will run away, leaving a bomb its, in its place. So you need to try and catch up to it and basically try and get it into a corner so you can get rid of it. And just get rid of you. Grab the key. There's a key. Head for the lock once you grab it. But these things can be really annoying. Running just makes... Make... Makes... Ah, it's gone. The, this is the spot to follow up with your ink bombs. With your bombs. I really wish that Splatoon had uh, Bionic Reading. Because that would be super useful for just reading it without even ha having to read it. Bionic Reading is such an interesting thing and I really want it implicated more into games like Splatoon. Okay, he's in a corner. Let me try and get him. There we go. Kusplat. Just like that one Donkey Kong enemy. Let's keep going. Don't be dumb about it, but charge! Okay. And just try and shoot you. They go back and forth all the time, which is annoying. There we go. Let's grab that key. Let's go. Baddies ahead. Stay fresh. Spank these invert... Uh, invert... Uh, is that... I don't know. It's fine. Anyway, let me just break that shield off of you. Because I can. Take that ride rail to your destination. I guess it's a ride rail, not an ink rail, but I, I, it's, it's basically the same thing. <laughs> basically. Just with a major improvement. Another tentahook. Watch out for its bombs. This one likes to get away. If you have the... Whatever it one is, that the name escapes me weapon. The one that shoots far. You can probably get it a lot earlier, so... But let's try and hit you, please. There we go. Grab the key, but also... Grab this... Fish eggs. Thought it was something else there, but it's fine. Don't have any of the collectibles so far, but there's... Still time to get them. I'm pretty sure they're up ahead, so... Try and hit all of these. Just like that. Let's keep going. Hello. It's a pretty narrow walkway here. Don't get sloppy. Well, I will because I'm going to jump off the edge here. And get this one, which has the sea scroll. So let's grab that and let's head back up. But we want to try and get this guy into a corner so we can get him. Man, having the... what's it called? Curling bombs would be super helpful right now. More fish eggs. Take that. Get out of here. Alright, a key. And let's keep moving. Okay. Take cover behind that wall. Splash him from behind. Or, you know, just take them out. that. Again, this one is really quick to get rid of if you have the right tools. So take that one out. Doesn't have anything important on it though. But that's okay because there are a bunch more. Seriously, one of, well, one of them has to have the key. Yes, indeed. There are so many. Let's try and corner them all. Because cornering them is a lot of fun, especially when there's, there are this many of them. They have so many explosions, though. Watch out for the tent hook bombs. We also have this thing. Tenta missiles. Very good choice for this scenario. Okay. Do it that way. Thank you. And now if we can get them a little bit further forward. Let's ruin them. Just like that. Absolute chaos. There are two keys. Keys for days. Indeed. So, there are two things to open over here. And I think one of them is actually the Sardinium. 
Or sardinium? Yeah. So we have that, and the other one's the continuation, so... But don't want to miss that, so let's go. I think that is everything, so let's get out of here. Mwah. I'm just kissing your eyeball. I hope you don't mind about that. That face is about right for what just happened to you. Anyway... Just, just ignore all that Just I just said and all that. It's fine. Major changes to regulations by the powers that have, but that that be held, but that be be have led to call to a call for the uh, complete replacement of and overhaul of all special weapons. Designers and man manufacturers are struggling to comply with this new regulation. I guess this is referring to the fact that they had to be like they they didn't keep the same specials from Splatoon One and Splatoon Two. I think they basically kept the same kind of ideas, but I I, I I like the new changes that they've made. But anyway, you're getting good at this. But that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.